Hello, today we will learn about the concepts of train, which is a subtopic of time and distance questions. So, first of all, let us take a train first, which is traveling at the rate of u kilometer per hour, and uh, train second, which is traveling at uh, v kilometer per hour, and let the length of train first be x meters. And uh, let the le let the length of train second be y meters. Now there are some concepts which needs to be understood. First of all, let us see if these trains are traveling in the same direction. Let us take train one is traveling in this direction and train second is uh, traveling also in this direction. Second. And with v u and v kilometer per hour. Now, first of all, we will have to calculate the relative speed of these trains. Now, when the train are traveling in the same direction, then relative speed is is calculated by subtracting the speeds of the train. So, relative speed is equal to u minus v kilometer per hour. If speed of first train is greater than second train. Now, in the second concept, if they are traveling in opposite directions, like train one is traveling in this direction and train two is traveling in this direction, then the relative speed will calculated by adding both the speeds. So, relative speed will be given by u plus v kilometer per hour now the first type of question is like there is the time taken by a train to cover a pole or a man suppose time taken by a train x meters long to cover a pole or a man Now this time will be equal to the time taken by the train to cover the x meters. It means that is equal to time taken by train to cover x meters. Now the next type of question is time taken by the train to cover a stationary object of a certain length. So let time taken by train x meters long to cover a stationary object of length y meter. Now this time will be equal to the time taken by the train to cover x plus y meter distance. That is equal to time taken by train to cover x plus y meters. Now the third question came on the crossing of trains. Suppose, as we have taken, let the length of train first be x meters, traveling at a speed of u kilometer u meter per second, and train second of length y meters, traveling at a speed of v meter per second. Now let let the train first is traveling with larger speed as compared to train second. It means u is greater than v now the first train will cross the second train so there are two conditions if they are traveling in opposite direction or they are traveling in same direction so the first case is if the train are traveling in opposite directions 
If train are traveling in opposite direction, then time taken to by faster train to cover slower train will be equal to sum of the length of the trains and their relative speed that will be given by u plus v. Seconds. Now the six, uh, next next case is if they are traveling in same direction. Then the time taken by faster train to slower train will be given by the sum of the length of the trains and their relative speed divided by relative speed and time will be in second. So let us solve a basic problem. A train 100 meter long is running at a speed of 54 km per hour. In what time it will pass a man standing on platform? So first of all let us uh, write down the length of the train length is equal to 100 meter and uh, speed is 54 km per hour so first of all make the units same of both the num numbers so first of all convert 54 km per hour into meter per second by multiplying it by 5 by 18 so we will get 15 meter per second now the time taken by train to as a man will be equal to the time taken by train to cover a distance of 100 meters. So by using the basic formula, time is equal to distance upon speed we will get time taken by train to pass the man that will be equal to 100 meter upon 15 meter per second that is equal to 100 upon 15 seconds. So let us take next, next problem, a train 150 meter long and running at a speed of 36 km per hour, in what time it will pass a platform 180 meter long. So first of all write the length of train, length is equal to 150 meter and uh, length of platform. equal to 180 meters speed of train that is equal to 36 km per hour convert it into meter per second 36 into 5 upon 80 that is equal to 10 meter per second now the time taken by train to pass a platform will be equal to time taken by train to cover a distance of 150 meter and 180 meter so total distance to be covered by train distance to be covered will be equal to 150 meters plus 180 meters that is equal to 330 meters so now time taken by train to cover this distance will be equal to 1330 upon 10 meter per second that is equal to 33 seconds. It means the train will pass the platform in a time of 33 seconds. So let us solve another problem. A man standing on a bridge 180 meter long, he finds that a train crosses bridge in 20 seconds but himself in 8 seconds. Then find the length and speed of train. So first of all let us consider let length of train be that length of train b is equal to x meters now divide the problem into two parts time bridge and man now the time taken by train to cross the bridge is 20 seconds it means the train will cover a distance of x plus 180 meters in a, in a time of 20 seconds. Now come on the man part. It is crossing the man in 8 seconds. It means the train will cover a distance of x meters in 8 seconds. Now calculate the speed of the train. Speed is equal to distance upon time that is equal to x plus 180 upon 20. Now do the same here speed is equal to x upon 8 meter per second 
as the train is same so the both the speed will be same now, now equate both the speeds we will get x plus 180 upon 20 is equal to x upon 8 now on solving this equation we will get x is equal to 120 meters so we will get the length of the train now we will have to calculate the speed of the train speed can be calculated by putting the value of x in this equation we will get 120 upon 8 meter per second now try to solve the, this problem as a own a person sitting in train A 120 meter long traveling at 72 km per hour and another train B 150 meter long traveling at 90 km per hour in the same direction how much time will it take to cross the map for any queries please comment and thank you for watching us please like this video and subscribe us for more videos